Hey guys, so in our previous tutorial, we have learned how to create a Node.js project in our Visual Studio IDE and we have also learned how to install different kinds of modules such as Express.js, Mongoose, Bcrypt, BodyParser and uh, NodeMailer. Okay, and we have also learned how to create our server by making use of Express.js. So you can see over here, I have created a server by making use of Express and it has been running on port 3000 and here i have created a route that is a root route so whenever we make use of a browser and hit root so this is the message we get on our browser we have saw in our previous tutorial okay and yeah so in this tutorial i am going to give a proper structure for our node.js project okay so let's get started okay so here i have created an architecture for you so we have a front end that is our flutter application through which a user makes http calls by making use of uh, get and post method okay and in back end these are the architecture we are going to follow so we have routers controller services and models so routes are basically a url and the controller is basically responsible for getting the data requested from the user and communicating with our model and returning back the data that is responding back the data to our server okay and here service is basically responsible for communicating with our database okay so let's go to our project again and create these folders so you can just click on this icon and create folders so first folder will be our routes Okay, so I have created four folders that is controller, model, routes and services and we also need one more folder that is configuration. Okay, so in this folder we are going to uh, configure our application such as database connectivity and everything we are going to do in this folder. Okay, uh, so this was the short video tutorial on creating a proper, giving a proper structure for our Node.js project. Okay, so let's meet in our next tutorial.